All right, what's going on, guys? Welcome to another Vintage Cube Draft on Magic Online. Today, we're going to do a, a stipulation draft where Mike makes all the picks. I can't pick anything, but then I will tweak the deck and play it. So, uh, that being the case... This is a tough call. I wouldn't know. I kind of want to go Grave Titan, but I also kind of want a Mana Crypt. Mm. Don't forget the time, too. Oh, just, yeah, I see it. Okay. Just making sure. Just making sure. How many times have we died to Mana Crypt? Take the Grave Titan. You want to go Grave Titan? Yeah. Final answer. I'll never be hurt again by that Mana Crypt. <laughs> It can't hurt you anymore. <laughs> Alright, well we are gonna get I'm gonna lower this. I'm gonna make sure these uh this camera settings are good. We have highlighted grave grave titerinos. Alright, that's better. This is a Liliana, in case you couldn't tell. I'm not checking it out. Okay. <laughs> All right, well. God. You got to go through your process, man. Uh, you can't just sit there in silence. Then nobody knows what you're doing. Okay, that's not better than sitting um, there in silence. I, I, just I, really, uh, <laughs> I think it's Liliana. You think it's Liliana Death's Majesty? Yeah, it's close. So I was going to take it soon, but yeah. This is what you want? Yeah. Final answer. Final answer. Got them double black cards. All right, two two black mythics. Could have had a mana crypt. Whatever. It could have hurt you. Not today. Not today. Not today. And what do we say to mana crypt? Not today. It gets stuff in graveyard if you want to just return them with her later, eh? Eh? Just pack his hot trash. <laughs> Nah, that's actually alright. Let's take that phantasmal image. That's what I was thinking too. I like I like where your head's at. You sure? I'm gonna give you a second to look it over. No, it's hundred percent. Don't forget this is a black card. I know. I know. This guy? Yeah. Okay. Spectres meh. You're meh. Hierarch, prowler. Hierarch Prowler, my name is Barbably Boo. You're making a lot of noises back there, I noticed. Take the Prowler. Una's Prowler. Yeah. You know, Actually, put it, okay. Take Verdant Catacombs. Verdant Catacombs. Yeah. Final answer. Yeah. I'm going to highlight it. I'm okay. Let you it's my final answer, though. Okay. What if you have a, an epiphany at the end? What up, Blurp? I won't. You could. You could be like, oh, wait, I've changed my mind. Instead, I think it's Porcelain Legionnaire. It'll never be that. And I'll be like, okay. Not a million years. Well, it's in your pile now. Hmm. Ah. Got a Fast Bond. Got a Skull Clampy. You got them frosty teats. Got a bloodstained mirror. It's a really late fast bond. You're a really late. No, it ain't. Last yesterday we got the like three picks left in the, in the pack. Oh, that's right. Yeah. No, no respect for fast bond. Yeah, nobody likes fast bond. This is the all Mike stipulation. Mike is going to pick all the cards, then I will tweak the deck basically and play it. This was suggested in the Discord channel, so... Uh, Let's take uh, Bloodstained Mire. Really? Yeah. Nice least picture that, picture that great. I like Frost Titan there, but I, I, uh, I'm i going to get behind. He's one of the weaker Titans. I mean, it's true. I think it's very hard to deal with. Tundra, Strip Mine, Fatal Push, Greek, Wild Speaker, the original. Ulamog, the Infinite Gyro. Euro, sorry. You know. How you doing, man? 
Take strip mine. Strip mine? Yeah. Boy, you're really banking on that crucible of the world's coming around, aren't you? <laughs> not necessarily, but that would be sick. Strip mine. That was an interesting pick. I was not expecting a strip mine. Oof. It's a good sword. It's also a good signet. If we 3 0 with the mic stib, I will donate bits. Oh, sweet. Nice. Get them. The pressure's on. Oh. Um, Don't mess it up. I think it's Signet. You want me to go Signet? Yeah. Exclusive Firecraft? No. Oh, Best Be Lobby? No. Oh, Signet? Yeah. Okay. It's close, though. Another sword and a Bone Shredder? Bone Shredder's ready. What? Hissy Quizzy? Hissy Quizzy. Really late balance. Balance is hard, though. It is hard. It's like such a build around. Take that Bone Shredder. Bone Shredder is ready. Scrublandio. Is it Scrubland? Yeah. I don't know. You might want to avoid giving Mike advice. I don't know. Scrubland? No, you can give me advice. It's fine. Yeah, Scrubland. You sure? Yeah. Okay. Pulse. You want to go Maelstrom Pulse? Yeah. So that way that you're drafting, you're just drafting Soul Tie like me? That's cool. Yeah, I understand. I mean, it's the best card. Oh, is it? I'm not going to take the worst card. What's the worst card? Probably Swift Spear. How dare you talk about Taylor Swift Spear like that? You also have the makings of a pretty reasonable Abzan deck. Wildwood. Boop. Nature's Claim. Nature's Claim, Maru? Yeah. Ponish Shaman, I guess. Eight seconds? Six seconds? You know, you committed? Yeah. Well, now it's yours. It's all yours. Probably not playing it, but... Hydra, I guess. You can't say I guess, because I gotta know if it's your final answer, bro. I'm just gonna guess. Well, then I'm not gonna be able to pick your cards. I'll just pick something different. I'll be like, well, you didn't, you didn't sound committed. I was not committed to that. I'm going to take this. No, dude. No. Whoa, whoa. Hold on now. Hey, I didn't pick that, buddy. Oh, look at all the power again. Yeah. I JK, wish. JK. No power for us. Leona the Veil. Jeremy Son. Oh, that's pronounced the Leona the Snail. Dark Petition. Oh, of Siggy. Siggy Piggy. Siggy Piggy. You know what that's from? My dad. It's not from your dad. Yeah, it is. Shut up, you, got, you liar. <clears throat> Pack is garbage. What up, Palatero Man? Is it? Oh, where's up, Signet? You want to go Signet? Yeah. Put it in my pile. Ooh, it's a manager. If I ever seen one. Have you ever seen one? Also, Ruffellos. Uh, it's pronounced Ruffellos. Ruffle, Ruffle Poppy. I don't know what Ruffle Poppy is. My dad. <laughs> God, your dad really gets around, man. Yeah. Take that Mana Drain, boy. It's your Mana Drain, boy? Yeah. All right, Mana Drain it is. It was Bill and Ted. You are correct, Joe Zero. Siggy Piggy. Siggy Piggy. This is good. These are good. These are good songs you're singing here. These packs should have been pretty awful. Um, take the Nissa. The five drop Nissa. Yeah, it's the only one in the pack, so I don't think I have to really specify. That's what you think. No, that's what I know. Okay, that's what you think. Don't look over there. Look over here. Look at me. I'm the captain now. 
I've never seen that movie. That was a good movie. Was it? Uh huh. It has Tom Hanks in it, doesn't it? Look at his beard here on my desk. Gross. You could have tooth and nailed there. You didn't have it in you. You didn't have the stones. I don't really have anything to tooth and nail on you yet. Uh, there's two whole packs left, bro. Not not entirely two whole packs. I mean, I think we're three picks into this pack. Yeah. Which isn't a full pack. <laughs> Could have also picked Tezzeret, too. Man, you messed up. I don't care about no Tezzeret. You don't like fun cards. This is true. People are sad you didn't pick Tezzeret, you didn't pick Tooth and Nail. I'm thinking. You gotta just, you just have this blank look on your Gosh. face. Right? Karn, we got true name Nemesis. It's pronounced Nemesis. It's like a disease. Let's take Big Papa Karn. Yeah, that's the right pick. I'm proud of you. It's weird that they don't have art up here, but once you put them in your pile, they have art. Like, why? Why? That's where the art is born. <laughs> Once you're up here, you're a boy. But once you get picked, you become a man. Yeah, all right. I guess that's a that's a reasonable thing. Look at my horse. My horse is amazing. Is there a horse in here? It takes us the graves and... There's no horses in this pack. Do that underground sea. That's not a horse. It's kind of a horse. Do you want the underground sea? Yes. Let me get it for you? Yes. Let me get that underground sea for you, boy? Yeah, boy. Okay, I'll put it over here for you in your little land pile. Got any green lands in that land pile yet? Verdant catacombs and stirring wildwood. All right. Boy. Look at me. I am the drafter now. <laughs> Good times. We can do a pretty draft after this and just draft the prettiest card. I'd be down for that. Would you? What are you doing with your arms there, man? <laughs> All right. Probably Lumbering Falls. Lim Lumbering Falls? Lumbering Falls. Is, uh... is that... That's what you want? Yeah. You want the Lumbering Falls? Yes. I'm going to put it over here now. Okay. What's it gonna be, Mitchell? Ooh, Elder or Snakeu? Hmm. What about Snelder? Snelder. Or Eleku? <sighs> Disappointment. Take the Snakeu. This guy? Yeah. Put him in your pile? Yeah. So proud. Now what, Michael? Now what do you take? Ultimate price. I've seen if they have the same artist. <gasps> Ultimate price? <sighs> well, I can see why you think they're the same artist. Like they're well, just kind of in the same position. Yeah. yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Boop! What does Trevor's the Uvenwald do again? You search for a basic land card, put it in your hand. If you have Delirium, which is four or more card types in your graveyard, then you search for a creature or a land. Let's take that. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah, say. Repeal. Yeah? Yeah. Yeah? Yeah. 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 The Abyss. See, you know when Mike's done, when Mike's made his final decision, uh, when he stops making noises, so. <laughs> I think we're good. I think that's, I think that's it, right? I don't know if we're playing the Abyss, but we'll take it. Desecration Demon. This guy? Yeah. You just pick whatever, man. I don't even care. No, you gotta pick, man. Take the mother runes, I guess. Put okay. them in the sideboard where they'll never be shown again. 
Uh, Scholar. Maybe splash that. I mean, we have Scrubland, Stirring Wild, Verdant Catacombs, and uh, Bloodstain yeah. to get our white sources, so. Blood and we got stains. a Signet, which casts them just by itself. Cheap thrills. Well. Singing Bloodstained. That's not a song. It is, actually. No. It's Bloodstains by Agent Orange. Cool. Did you hear what I said? I said no. Well, it doesn't change the fact that it is. Yeah, it does, though. No means no, Michael. I lost my sense. I've lost control. I've lost my mind. It was a late, fiery confluence. That is really late. You might say that's the latest you could possibly be. All the red cards are going super late. All the red cards are being super late. That's how you sound to me. Yet again, no power. Well, what can you do, man? One, two. Buckle my shoe. It's okay. The person next to us has two power, and they're going to give us one. That's nice of them. That's nice. Take that Vindicate. This one? Yeah. Is there another? There could be another. Oh, we did get past the power. Interesting. All right, well, that makes my choice easy. Take that jet. That's interesting. Must have been quite an, a quite a good card. Huh. Had to be another piece of power. Oh. Or soaring, maybe. Gutter sniping. Actually, to get past the Mox jet, yeah. Us too, I guess. That's weird. Did they not see the mock jet in the pack? Maybe. Maybe they closed their eyes. Maybe they had a moto glitch. No, I mean the chat, because they're like, Bitter Blossom. Like, no, we're not taking that over a mock jet. No way. Also's on color, which is pretty nice. Your mother's on color. Dang it. Got him. Dang it. Got him. Did you? Search for tomorrow. This one? Yeah. Okay. Hmm. <laughs> Get that big big pop of woodfall. Big pop of big pop of primus? Yeah. Ophiomancer. This one? Yeah. Not show and tell? No. Okay. We all know how that goes. Okay. I believe you jump in the line. It's a lot harder to splash green for Pulse and Snake when Mike picks a Woodfall Primus that's triple green. <laughs> I'm crazy. We do have double signet and search and mox and tons of spixing land, so. That's good. That's good. Jump in the line. Frailies. So your final answer. Yeah. Boop. I support that. The only card really worth the pack. You're the only card worth the pack. Power Stone was pretty decent. What can we cascade into? Mandrains and Nonbo. We got Image, Price, Farmer Shaman. No, I'm not playing a Farmer Shaman. <laughs> Vanglehorn. Sometimes you want to just mangle them horns. Big skews. I wonder if this is good. I don't think so. Why? I don't have that many creatures. Okay. Big but skews? It, but it could be good. Like, there's definitely probably a deck for it. Why? 
What was your pick? Skews. Big Skews? Yeah, Big Skews. Well, he starts ex- off tiny, though. Well, excuse me. Yeah. Yeah. Awakening zone, I guess. Get in the zone. Awakening zone. Is it awakening zone? Uh, yeah. Okay. Bone saw is a wow. Really that good. is a really late cradle. But You're, I think Shriek Ma is a pick. Yeah, I agree with you. But that is a late cradle. What up, Case? Case McMace? Case in the face? Don't call me Chase. I think it's true, yeah. It's a ladle. Yeah, that was a guy's ladle. Scoop up all your little guys with it. Is that your answer? Yes. <laughs> a guy's ladle. I guess. You don't even know. I don't. Tangle wire. Tangle wire. Fiend. I play that. Don't tell me what to do. I passed the box open to Sapphire checking the name. <laughs> nice. Thanks so much, man. Thanks for being a fan and for passing me the box. Appreciate it. Preach. Preach is right. You do not get to keep the cards you draft. That would be amazing. And this would cost more than 10, 100 pro, uh, play points. All right. Let's see what we're doing here. It'd be like 100,000 play points. 100,000 P points? I don't think we're playing the blue. Yeah, it seems a little greedy. Both are fixing is a very blue. You have like C and that's it. Falls, that's it. I guess we'll play strip mine because you picked it. It's good. It's good. It's good. It's good. H Dan, good luck, buddy. This is twenty three cards. Should have gave me the manager. Rate. Probably. We thought we were gonna play it at the time. Probably would have went well with your sapphire. Um. Could. Yeah, I guess you play that guy. Yeah, play it as is. Uh, I, I, I'm the one who makes the deck. You're the one who picks the cards. Now i got to work with your monstrosity. <laughs> oh, wow. Hey, man, this deck looks pretty good. It actually doesn't look... I don't think the Abyss is, in our, is good for our deck, though. Yeah, I can see that. I want to play 24, though, with that box. What do you mean, 24? Oh, you mean like 16, 15 lands yeah. in a box? Or, yeah, yeah, yeah. I think you might be right. You do always play Manager Rain. I don't, uh, I can't argue with that. I don't think I like Hydra in here. No, I do. I do. We don't need to cut everything, man. I'll cut you. Keep bringing that angler. Is Westvale Abbey really good in this deck with Ophiomancer and Awakening Zone? How does it flip? Uh, you sacrifice five creatures. Maybe it's worth. I think it's pretty good. Sure. Only two colors. We're three colors. We got a Vindicate and a Tide Hollow oh, Scholar. Yeah. I mean, Mesmeric Fiend might just be better than Tide Hollow Scholar here. Yeah. Like it's one, it's a one one seven two two, but like the it's easy, much easier on mana. Plus, Vindicate's pretty easy to cast off of Scrubland, Stirring Wildwood, and uh, Orzhov Signal. Also have Traverse, so we can play like one planes if we want. Plus, same Meyer even worth it? Yeah, because it gets uh, it gets Scrubland. Oh yeah. I guess maybe not though. It just it just gets Scrubland. 
Yeah, that's just a yeah. Scrubland or swamp. It's probably still worth playing. Well, scrubland just gets getting a swamp is just worse than a scrubland. True. If the if the deck does does go three zero, it was Hunter all along. That's that's what I think. Five, six, seven black sources. Let's actually. Okay. <laughs> five, six, seven green sources. So seven, five, six, seven. Oh, eight, eight because of the mocks. So I'm going to take this out and add another green. Yeah, I don't think we need to play white. So there's a 16 lands and a mox. We also have a search for Morrow. Uh, ideally, we won't have to use the traverse for mana. And we have two signets. Yeah. How many things are going to the graveyard? Because I can see I, I can see putting uh, Angler in. But I also don't like... Angler might be better than like Hydra. That's what someone said, yeah. Hmm. Angler might be better than Hydra. Oh. <clears throat> wow. See what you made me do? No. You could just play it as is, see what happens. I think it's worth trying as is. I keep wanting Hydra to be real good, so. Yeah, they have no answer. It's pretty good. Yeah, if they just cast a nerd afterwards, it's a 2-2, two -two, and then we play a guy, it's a 3-3, three -three, and then we play another thing, it's a 4-4. Four -four. Like, it can get pretty big pretty fast. And I like saving the cards in the graveyard for scavenging ooze. Oh. 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 All right, let's do it. You also can randomly hose the reanimator deck. Manager in the sideboard, that's cool. You can randomly hose the reanimator deck. I'll keep this hand. Be crazy not to. Crazy? Yeah. Blurp, did you ever consider that you're just bad though? Oh, got him. He did got him. He got wrecked. Get blurped on. That's what the kids say. Do they? I think so. Yo, MTG raps. More like, yo, MTG craps. Is it like that? Mm hmm Is it? Yes. Oh, God. Oh, it's a little, it's a little gorgy Georgie. Oh, good. Gorgy Georgie. You heard me. Fortunately, I did. Fortunately? That's, that's terrible. I guess we're taking dose. Two to the dome. Two to the chrome dome. Do we do we bone short of this guy? Probably. Siggy piggy. And then we just hope they don't have. Uh... Oh, all right. We hope they don't have a uh, Splinter Twin combo. Nah. They have it. Nah. And Vindicate's a sorcery, so that's not even going to be good. Nah. Okay, you just keep saying nah. Nah. It definitely does take a special kind of person to draft mono red in the Vintage Cube. In the Legacy Cube, that's one thing, but once you have, like power and things like that like your monoroid deck has to be real good real good oh man they dash that dude <clears throat> we can also just play a hydra and scavenging goose next turn which is probably pretty good burnt 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 Hey, 
Henry Rollins. <laughs> Thank you so much for saying so. Appreciate it. Thanks, Mr. Rollins. Gee, thanks, Mr. Rollins. Rollins. Gee, Willikers. This guy. All right, we got two dudes. Hashtag two dudes. Take this jacket off. Okay, we did it. Ugh. Gee, Willikers, Mr. Mr. Hydra. How you doing over there? I don't need your sass. Ace Rollins, thank you so much, man. That is all that matters. <clears throat> you guys the real Henry Rollins? God, I hope so. That would be amazing, right? Cause I'm a liar! <clears throat> Herman Mc... 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 <laughs> Tell them the Fern McCrog story. Well, I mean, it's not much to tell. One time, instead of saying Kermit the Frog, I said Fern McCrog. And it has been legendary ever since. Why Mick? Where did the Mick come from? I don't know. Couldn't tell you. Fern McCrog. <laughs> He's like, holy, I need to wake up. Yeah, there you go. Just keep pumping this guy. Harrison Rollins, that is still a pretty awesome name because then your initials are still H. Rollins, so I think that's still pretty okay. Let's play Demon Demonuski. That's Richard Demonuski from accounting. Now this guy's <laughs> out of bolt range, too. Yeah, he's pretty big now. I'm going to get in there. This guy becomes a 7-7 if they play a spell and we play both of these next turn. Acoustic, that's why. <laughs> that explains your Fermit McCrog situation. Yeah, Fermit McCrog here. Oh, I guess we just win. you're gonna give it to you yeah that's right that's right i think we just submit like this i don't think we can board anything where's we gonna rock then we're gonna roll come on go on no Cause I'm a liar. And we didn't even draw our mocks that game. I don't know the likelihood of us having four different card types in the graveyard for Traverse, but... Oh well. Can we live the dream and go land Mox Jet Signet on turn one? I feel like if we if we untap and play Desecration Demon on turn two against the blue red deck, we just win. Yeah, it's pretty good. It's I think I feel like it's hard for them to deal with the six six on turn two. Maybe you don't. Maybe I don't what? Maybe you don't. Maybe, maybe I don't what? Maybe you don't. M maybe I don't what? Maybe I don't. Maybe. <laughs> oh, God. Can we keep this hand? Seems pretty rough. It's really slow. They went to six. Do we just go to six? No, I'm keeping it. We can't strip mine them. It's pretty brutal. Oh, on, on six, no less? Oof. All right, Stan, you can't take all the credit. You We didn't even play the mocks yet.
Oh god, Mox Mana Crypt Misha's Workshop Worm Coil? Ugh. Oh, girl. Now he definitely shirt mine. Get him. <laughs> Ooh, well, if you didn't... Island. That doesn't matter, though. Oh, I hope to play a Signet right now. And then we go turn to Manglehorn. That'd be gross. Oh, dang it. Yeah, darn it. We still can go next turn, uh, Mox Jitteruski. Or, uh, De Desecration Demon, rather. Oh, followed by Anissa the next turn? Yes, please. Turn three, I'm going to pull off Metal Worker. Yeah, that's pretty good. That's a thing. Remand. Remand. He resolved. Okay. Well, that's a thing. All right. Great well. news. Great success. That's my demon. Put the mountain in the graveyard. Why is he so weird? I don't know. I'm waiting for the people to make the Fermit McCrog uh, account names. I don't know how good Mono Red is in the in this cube because this cube is so OP. I think it's, you just have to have a nuts one. Like you have to have Vortex, Goblin Guide, stuff like that. I had a nuts one once, Greg. What happened? I was I just I didn't win with it. That's all. What do you want from me? So they can deal five to Anissa. Oh, that's pretty rough. Man, Grim Lava Mancer search for Azkanta is pretty. Uh... So that's a combo right there. Just wait a turn for it. I guess so. Yeah, I think before we get punished for this. I don't even like that guy because they just actually shoot it and then nothing happens. Yeah, that's the thing. Like, just having, like, burn. And I also don't feel like this this cube has a high concentration of burn either. So yeah. you're not really getting a ton of it. Oh, my God. Turn through Gravesite and after they hymned you and thought seized you. Unless you played turn two thought seized and him. In which case, good Lord, Vomit. man. Get your life together. They have two cards in their hand? That's pretty good. I'm feeling okay about it. We could also draw a Grave Titan. That'd be pretty sick, right? He's pretty good. Very aggressive. No blocks. No blukes. Bone Shredder's ready. Can you play Nessa and that? Yeah. Let's do that. Yes. Yes. Man, they go to see, eight? See, look at that. Show and tell never, ever works out. Last night when Terminator Ancient 2 mocks show and tell, an Emrakul, he put a Shriek Maw and destroyed my life. <laughs> This is what I'm saying. You're down two cards. They're up one. Everyone's like, how did you not take show and tell? And I'm like, well, because let me explain it to you. It's a trap card. You've activated my trap card. I think I like getting rid of this guy better. Yeah, it seems better. That targeted damage is much worse than this 2-1 that we can just block all day. Block all day. Block all day. Sometimes you're going to block all day. Also, if they kill this guy, we don't even have to pay the upkeep. Yes, Oof. Fire fire Blast is in the cube. Yes. <clears throat> I 
feel like I need a drink. Like a like a, a cool refreshing beverage. Like a crystal light? Like a like a water that I'll add a crystal light packet to. I was gonna get you. Oh, what? Were you really? It doesn't seem like it. I'm not under that impression. Sneak attack, I'm cool. Oh, he said that screwed up my plan, dude. Interesting. Huh. Oh, four and two. I got you, but you still won red. You you don't have the, the the triple red. Oh, now you can shoot here and then. Pretty good. Pretty it's no good. Bad. It's uh, so not a bad. Wait, what? You didn't you didn't exert. Interesting. All right, I will block. I'm intrigued. That seems like a misplay. I agree with you. Hmm. Well, would you look at <laughs> Well, that? I'll be a biscuit. Can we just kill him if we do that right? Shriek Ma. Well, they can always kill. tap this guy down. Not if we... Oh, wait. Yeah, you can. I mean, we can actually kill this guy with Shriek Ma and force, force them him, yeah. to sack this guy, which is actually feels better. Yeah, that seems really good. Because if we can just kill this guy, and then they'll tap this guy down, or, or you know, but... I'd rather force them to sacrifice their own glory bringer because that just feels better. Glory days. X gonna give it to you. So long, Bone Shreddy. Well, they do get to flip their search for Ascanta. Yeah, maybe they didn't realize Bone Shredder had flying. That might have been the case, yeah. It's a, I mean, like, if you don't if you're not familiar with cubes, Shriek Bone Shredder is a pretty obscure card. What that card's like fifteen years old? Now, if I were good at magic, I would have drawn control magic and had fun, but I'm not good. <laughs> uh... That actually wreck is pretty hard. Because Manglehorn for some reason doesn't enter artifacts. I mean enchantments. What up, Filk Money? Oh, look, they're digging. Mm, that ain't gonna do it. It will kill this Shriek Maw. But it won't kill our two four fours and our six or seven seven flyer. Mitch gonna give it to you. What up, Filk Money? Oh, exquisite, exquisite firecraft. You got a one drop or something? You got a one drop. We're 1-0. One 1-0 -oh. one -oh with this deck, Mitch. Two more to go. You drafted it. Points. Michael drafted a masterpiece. Let's slow down. <laughs> yeah. It's only been one round. Yeah, I'll put this dinosaur on my, mon on my, on my microphone again. Why are you doing that? Because the dinosaurs are cute. Why do you do these? So I can move in such a way that, like... Kind of blends in with your shirt a little bit. Capture those dinosaurs, those rumpins. Is the other dinosaur thing. invisible? Yeah, because he's green. Ooh, that's trippy. Um... Yeah, I'm okay with this hand. It's not fast and exciting, but it is... Decent. Oh, Ooh, the library opener. Strip mine one time. That'd be filthy. Oh, I thought it was for a second. I got so excited. Oh, it starts the nest, so oh, boy. Oh, it also has a look at the art. The art is like strip miney. Strip miney. It's your boy, strip miney. Strip miney Granger. I'm playing against rotated. <clears throat> rotated potate. Oh. So now you can discard all them cards you draw. He gave up his library? Interesting. No, he just draws a card next turn. Oh, sure. <laughs> Mike drafted our entire deck. I did not help him with a single pick. Alright, so they've drawn two cards more than us. 
What's the next stipulation? Uh, we ha- we call your mom and have her draft the, the cards. Uh, that would be difficult. We describe each of them to her in detail. Mm-hmm. And uh, she picks which one she wants us to play. Okay. It'll, we'll call it the Brenda draft. The Bren draft. Yeah, I don't see what could go wrong. And if there's a demon on the card, you have to describe the demon in detail. (laughs) And you have to make a backstory for it and tell her all about it. And then while you're on the phone with her, you have to do a little chanting. And and I like how you did this one. Chanting. Everyone knows this is the symbol for chanting. Jazz hands. That is the symbol for chanting. If I'm doing an ancient incantation and summoning a demon from another universe... You're going to do jazz hands while you do it. Why's it got to be for another universe? It doesn't. It could be from this universe. Why do you have to be... Why is everything... Why do you make everything a thing? Oh my god. Just keep drawing cards. Oh, it's a Yavimaya Elder. Fedrin doesn't have death touch, right? This? Fedrin Imp. Oh, no. It just gains flying if you discard a card. What are the odds we're ever going to be able to trigger this delirium? Not I. Can you get any land with that? It's only basic. With Yavimaya? No. no, it's only basic until you trigger delirium. Delirium is any land. So draw two more lands. Because you're good at magical cards. So you have a sorcery. I mean... A creature could go in the graveyard, but that's the only, like... None of our artifacts seem like they could die. Yeah, it's Professional Demon Summer. I can confirm Jazz Hands are a must. I don't know what your problem is, man. Oh, you're welcome. I'm just going to make this dude super big. Super big, Deal with my Hydra. We can pitch our artifacts to Imp? What Imp? Stink? We don't have an Imp, do we? No. We can pitch Karn to Imp. What is going on? I don't think we can activate our opponent's abilities, right? What's going on? Am I drunk? Probably. Hey man, do you want to get some want to get some some beers and we can do beers every time we win? Sure. You can tell I don't drink because I just said do beers. <laughs> want to do some beers? Uh, hey man, you want to yes, do some beers? You want to do I some guess. Coors Lights? Oh, That's God, a silver Coors bullet, Light. right, buddy? I'm like a silver shit can. Putrid Imp is not any player, no. That little weird demon baby. You're probably thinking of anything from Prophecy. Prophecy probably had a hundred cards that were like, any player can discount, any player can activate this ability. Might be thinking of Una's Prowler. You might be thinking of your your mammy's house. Your mammy's house. Uh huh. Hmm. Uh huh. Careful now, you knock the dinosaur off. Uh huh. I would never knock this dinosaur off. This is my friend. This is Richard. Oh, the old Library Bazaar deck, eh? That's bizarre. How bizarre. Nyak, nyak, How bizarre. Nyak, 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 nyak. I mean, they're 100% randoming things, right? So we just aggressively malt us to one scavenging ooze. Oh. Oh, you have a lotus and a library. Of course you do. Nice, dude. <laughs> That's sick. Some real Coors haters here. I didn't. I had no. I had no opinion on Coors whatsoever. I did not say a, a kind or an unkind word about them. I just mentioned them as a beer brand. A beer brand. Well, I don't know why you did that. Why not? I don't. And I, I guess no reason. I guess no reason. Amazing. Discord gristle brand. Oh, old Hermie. Old Hermie McDruidson. 
No, might as well make this guy a uh, 6-6. Six, six. And by that I mean, yeah, he's a 6-6. Six, six. He's pretty big. Hey, that's pretty big. Feel free to sacrifice. What are the odds he's going to go like necromancy? Block with all four squirrels. Block with three squirrels and the deranged hermit himself. All right, let's do it. I mean, 100% they're animating this guy during their turn, so... Or during our turn. Like, you could have just cast it, which you didn't, so... Here we go. Makeshift mannequin! Sure. Hey, yeah, he called it. Yeah. I'm clearly wonderful at this game. God, if I had anything to target this guy with one mana. Oh, you're just going to put that dude in the front. Okay. Well, those are blocks then. You get to keep a 1-1. One, one. I'll activate my Bizarro Bagledad. Bagledad. Do you have a problem with what I said? Yes. Let's talk about it. Let's talk about that. Let's talk about your dad. Phil Money, I saw you in there, buddy. We were chatting about dongers. Speaking of which, can you guys raise your dongers in the chat for me? Can we get those dongers raised? That'd be great. You don't know what you've done? Oh, I know what I've done. I'm hoping that... Uh, I'm hoping that they know what I've done. No dongers yet. That's a dogger. Doggered. <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> I guess so. Okay, we got, some we got some doggers raised. That's the thing, I guess. No dongers, though. That's sad. No. Oh. A fauna shaman. Fauna shame. Say again. And we got a toilet and a hunter. My parents told me to keep my dongers in private. That's a good. That's a good strategy. Solid parenting right there. Okay, these lands are getting a little out of control. They're spinning out of control. Out of control. I feel like the squirrels gonna get sacrificed. Oh, there we go. There's some dongers. There they are. There they are. Look at them go. Oh, I got some cats, too. There you go. Or are those... Oh, that's a hamster. That is a hamster. You're right. Well, next time we get to play a Karn, that's pretty cool, right? That's pretty cool. I don't know, I don't know why you're being like this. I can't explain. I, I don't understand. Oh, God. I actually feel great for my stream chat because they get to witness you having strokes on stream, like, pretty regularly. It's okay, I got my stroke medicine. Oh yeah, what is it? Stroke of analysis. <laughs> I think you had a stroke while saying the name of the stroke medicine. I might have. Man, when are we going to finish GTA? What's a GTA? You know what it is. Only savages cast their cards on turn three, FYI. I love GTA. Let's play some, I'll play some GTA with you. Yeah, that's how they... Oh, my God. This Library of Alexandria has really gotten on my nerves here. And they haven't even used their Bazaar of Baghdad, yet they played it over a regular land, which is interesting to me. Fuck money. Have a good night, buddy. Also, make sure if you if you guys want to watch the replays on uh, on the drafts you haven't seen, you can check them out on YouTube as well at uh, youtube.com slash franklapore. So, uh-oh, here we go. Something broken this way comes. No, oh, that's not bad. That's actually not. Oh, and a defender. I feel like you have to exile this demon, right? Oh, 
What if they forget to activate their Vraska? That'd be kind of funny. Oh, they just made a pirate. Oh, what up, Gravy Dad? Where was that guy last turn? Could kill a Vraska. Yeah, we could. And Woodfall Primus also kills her. I think I'd rather play Grave Titan than Woodfall Primus next turn to kill her. What's her ult? Uh, life total becomes one. But I'd rather just have Grave Titan on board. Mr. Metronome, thank you for the host. Man, really appreciate it. Got my dinosaurs, and by dinosaurs I meant zombies. Sometimes I get my creature types confused. I'll discard three lands. Yep, alright. Seems good. I mean, they still only have five cards in hand, which isn't great. Their Liver of Alexander is essentially turned off, so that's pretty cool. And I feel like they actually have to kill this Grave Titan now. So, that's a thing. Our two cards are pretty good. Well, we have three cards, Michael. One of them's not good. I mean, dep depending on the the, uh, the the fiction you're watching, um, dinosaurs and zombies can definitely be the same thing. Wow, they didn't kill Grave Titan. That's interesting. <sighs> oh my god, if they like Day of Judgment or something here, that'd be actually insane, because then we can just kill the Vraska and have a car on an empty board. I'm okay with that. Something big. Oh, God. Oh, I see. Just a wood fall primus. Pretty annoying. You ain't wrong. That's actually very annoying because now they can actually sacrifice that to our our desecration demon. So I'm actually tempted to just exile this guy and attack everything at Vraska. I think that's correct. Either way, we're playing Karn because it's the only thing we can play right now. Yeah, definitely don't want that guy coming back. No, sir. So you sack this guy. You only have one blocker, which is pretty good. And then we get actually two more... Two more Zombos to... To block your... Varaska... Oh, alright, cool. Look at all my beautiful Zombos. I want you to look at them now. Yeah, Zombos. I mean, you could just throw this in front here, but that doesn't seem... Interesting. Discarded Burial Alive Grave Titan in Forest. Interesting. And they have one card in hand, so they go up to two next turn? Oh, okay, Veraska's just gonna die. Cool. All right. I guess they have a reanimate, maybe? I'm sure they do, but not for Veraska, right? No. I don't know what's going on right now. They have Fauna Shaman. They could discard a creature to find another creature, but they could have done that last turn, too, so... And if we draw any land, we can play our own Woodfall Primus, which is nice. Looks like they got all this yep. power and nothing to do with it. There it is. All this power and nothing to do. Well, that's annoying, but... Karn can answer it. Oh, Woodfall Primus can just get rid of the enemy dead, so... Oh, yeah. True. True that. True that. Right, right, right. Right is right. They activated... Why did they discard... Oh, so it gains flying. I gotcha. That's fine. So they have no cards in hand? That's pretty cool. Land? Oh, you scumbag. Yeah, it's pretty rough.
That's so sad. What did they sacrifice? A Zombo? Sure. I mean, I don't really want this trade when we can just Woodfall Primus at next turn, so... Yeah, I'll just wait. <laughs> Plus, I only have one card in hand, so whatever. I think we're in good shape here. Admiral Akbar, Alan Beck, what's going on, buddy? Always a pleasure. Hey, nah. Hey, nah. What? 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 It's a good, it's a good time we're doing, having. Good time we're doing. Yeah. Look at baby cakes in the chat, not say anything. Just, just creeping. Just, just creeping. Just creeping in the chat. Also, this is a ten ten, so like it's getting to a point where you just have to deal with this guy. <laughs> also, I could just block the Grave Titan with three zombies. <laughs> also, pretty good. Oh, everybody at Karn, huh? I would just single block because we could just destroy it next turn with Primus. Yeah, you're right. Oh, they have no cards in hand? This is great news. So that thing have haste. Yeah. Let's do that. I think I'd rather Woodfall Primus and get rid of this guy first because they're gonna have blockers. They're gonna have their Yeah, do that first. I, too, have a Woodfall of the Primus. Gonna get rid of your animate dead. I'm really surprised, looking at the cards our opponent has, that we are winning this game right now. Um, considering we have a Woodfall Primus underneath Karn, I think we could actually safely ultimate him. <laughs> if you want to triple block my Grave Titan, that is completely yeah, fine. Yeah, fine. I'll, I'll live with five zombies and a Woodfall Primus. Oh, alright. Sure. Kill your whole board, leave you with a Putrid Imp. And one card. You can't even bizarre, or else you just have to discard all three of the cards, which is pretty nice. Did you just try to activate your Library of Alexandria to draw a card? <laughs> also, drawing two and then discarding all three cards in your hand, I don't understand. You're just showing me more cards in your deck, right? Yep. Oh, all right. That'll do, I guess. Nice. That's what's nice. Do we have any way to kill lands anymore? I'm sure it's not that good here, right? It's not black. What do we see? We saw Putrid Imp and we saw a Grave Titan. Mm -hmm. Anything else? We saw Drage Hermit. Primus. Or Fall Primus. Also not very good against him. Yeah, I can see that. Maybe Sculler. They didn't really seem like they had that much removal. Yeah. Nature's Claim kills the, uh, the thingamajig. Yeah, the thing with Jig. You know what I'm saying. Yeah, the little thing with Jig. You yeah. know what I'm Did saying. Did they have a uh, Diabolic Servitude in their graveyard or something, too? The I don't four, know. Or the four mana? I don't know, Dad. Reanimate. Reanimate. <gasps> oh, man, I'm dying. Cut Tracker for... Tracker? Traverse, rather, for natural, <laughs> Nature's Claiming. <coughs> yeah, I can see that. I like that. Yeah, they could open Braille Rights. We didn't see it, though, so. Oh, we got the double? Can and the land. This, this hand is great. The hand shall be mine. Um, We probably could splash Phantasmal Image, actually. That would have been a good one. We should probably be doing that. We're dumb. You're dumb. 
So we have like two free blue lands, I think. Yeah, we have underground. Well, we have Lumbering Falls and underground. Yeah, so we definitely have two free blue lands. We should and, probably be doing that. Yeah, though. there's no real reason not to, I guess. Probably just cut Traverse for that. We could also splash um, Mana Leak, Mana Drain. That's a little harder. Yeah, <laughs> right. That's not something that props can fix. Oh, look at that. How nice. Well, this is going to be a fair game, I bet. What? That's, That's all you did with it? That is such a waste of a Lotus. I've never seen a I've never seen a worse Lotus in my life. It's so not good. Come on, that's not even worth it. I agree. The lands go into your hand, not in play, man. Yeah, that's not a good use of a Lotus. Hmm. Living Death. Recurring Nightmare. Drain Turn. Why didn't they drain the Hermit? I don't know. I think four one ones is better than a. Probably take the Vindicate here though. They don't actually have a third land. Maybe that's why they they did it. Living Death and Nightmare are useless right now. And he's not going to be able to cast that Hermit. Still would have waited like a turn or something. Got a turn to peel. A turn to peel. Return of the peel. I'm going to get a forest and a plains and a swamp. He's going to be able to play Nightmare here. He doesn't have a creature on board. Also, I'd like to be able to take it. That's fine. We're just going to draw Maelstrom Pulse. Kill it. All Ooh. right, Forest, you got it. And you got it. All right. That's a big, that's a big, big. Let me see your sweet bits. Oh, you got an O-Ring and a Garouk. That guy ain't coming down anywhere soon. Yeah, I'll just take your O-Ring. Play Wild Woods. We're going to the Wild Wild Woods. <laughs> I'm sorry, what? We're going to the Wild Wild Woods. That's good. That's like the movie. The Wild Throwing Wild Woods movie. I think I just got a couple lands. There weren't many permanents under it. XD, but I did it, and that's the important part. I agree with you. Wild Wild Woods. Oh, okay. So, one, two, three. This is your hand. Yeah. Because you play Blooming Marsh. Unfortunately, Living Death is actually great for the next turn, so. It's not that great. I mean, it kills two of our guys and they get back Elder. Yeah. And they get both cards back in their hands, so that's pretty brutal. So I don't even want to play Demon here, unfortunately. No, that'd be bad. Agreed. Probably should take this Living Death, but I guess then they take the Ability Ring and they just put the Ability Ring on it. All right. I mean, it's still pretty good. We can't really do much about that. Why can't we? Because we have a 2-1 and a 1-1. I'll kill it. Okay. Yeah, no, that's reasonable. Triggered! Where's right, Liliana so. here? We don't have a Liliana. I mean, a Nissa. We don't have a Nissa. Yeah, we do. It's right there. The problem is, what do we do with it? I don't know. I don't know. I think we just make guys, because if we make a land of 4-4, four, four, they're just going to living end and it dies. So, you know, sad times are here again. Sad times are here again. Unfortunately, both of the white removal spells that they have under these guys can get rid of any permanent. Yep. Yep, 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 yep. What did you just do? You just drew three cards? Okay. Okay, man. I don't think they want a living death this early. That's the funny thing. One, two, three, four, five, six. And I don't want to actually... Oh, we can actually play Woodfall Primus next turn. 
That's pretty good. This is so this is so weird what's going on right now. <gasps> Ooh. That's good. That's actually real good. Three, four, five. One, two, three, four, we have six, seven. We can Woodfall Primus and kill their kill the recurring nightmare, actually, which yeah. seems pretty good. Okay. I believe you. They, you didn't even get to use it. <clears throat> Jump in the line. That guy's definitely going to the graveyard. They're definitely going to... I hate living in death doesn't actually... Oh, it's sacrifice. Okay, cool. Yeah. I thought it exiled the cards in play and then exiled the graveyard and then put them in the opposite places. No. Oh, I like that it's sacrifice. Then we do get Woodfall Primus back. Yeah, that'd actually be kind of okay for us. What? Getting it back? Yeah. Make a little beastie. Nostrafix. Glad you could catch up with the live stream, buddy. It's alive. It is alive. You're right. Is this, are you doing the... What are you doing? Robot chicken here? Uh, that was a little bit of robot chicken. Well, what else was it? What else could it have been? Hail Cobra. Hail Cobra. Hail Nobra. Oh, damn it. Is that, was that robot chicken? Yeah. There's a clone that comes out and says, Hail Nobra. And they have to go kill They have him. six cards in their hand? Good lord. Yeah, it's like they drew three or something. It's like an ancestral recall. Yeah. Yeah. And you get a big old fatty with it. That's what. <laughs> okay. Oh boy. I had to stop myself. Oh, don't talk to me like that. What are you doing right now? What's going on? The funny thing is, this looks like a totally different deck than we saw the first game. This deck got better. You're right. Or did it? We have very similar decks. I'm just trying to play around this stupid living death, man. It's a good idea. The card's pretty bonkers. So the problem with Grave Titan and Scooze is that they have living death in hand. <sighs> so I have no desire to play both of these guys out and then just have them living death everything away. I mean, Faith Fetters is fine because, like, don't we just get to never... Oh, this is aggressive. <laughs> hmm. So they can't cast Oblivion Ring here. One, two, three, four, five. Let's see this block here. Does this put us in a position to kill Garrick? No. Definitely not. That might, though. Oh. Oh! Now we're playing Scavenging Goose. One, two, three, four. We can get rid of at least four out of the five creatures in your graveyard now. Oh my god, that's so good. Give me a forest. That Still works. That'll do. Get that Grave Titan. 
get that Avenger. <laughs> and let me get that Woodfall Primus. That's a good dude. Let me get that Deranged Hermit. And look at that Elder. Got them all. Good times. Everything is all right. Woo! Scavenging who's eating all six of your creatures. Five of your creatures makes Living End pretty bad too, thankfully. So now we know you have Living End, Living Death, and O-Ring in hand. I don't think I know anything else, but Probably you definitely... Gonna Probably going to O-ring the ooze, I would imagine. Yeah. Sure. Oh, two at Nyssa, huh? All, a bunch at Nyssa. All right, everybody, everybody at Nyssa. Yeah, Nyssa's just dead here. Yeah, we're just going to block a squirrel and play a Grave Titan. Definitely not going to buy my opponent breakfast. They knew what this was. No artifacts? Dang it. Man, it would be so much better if it was that other three drop. Which one? The one that could kill an O-ring. Reclamation Sage? Yeah. Yeah, that's, yeah, that's a much better one. So much better. Agreed. He's green. He should be able to kill both. That ain't right, man. That ain't right. This Garrick's getting out of hand, though. I'm getting a little annoyed at this stupid Garrick, though. Yeah, it's making a lot of beasts. Yep, that's pretty good. It's really good. Kill Grave Titan. No. It's so weird. I can't be correct. It doesn't feel correct. And I guess sure you can trade off the board with it, but Can I just Westvale Abbey and kill this? <laughs> yeah, let's do that. One, two, three, four, five. <clears throat> I guess we attack first and then we actually can keep the the Sculler alive. Yeah. I wish they had an artifact. Oh, we can't attack first because then we actually don't. Uh... We attack with just with the Titan, right? No, but then we don't get to make this. Why not? Because we've already attacked. Oh, yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Activate. We don't actually have enough to play Manglehorn either, so we'd have to give them Vindicate. But the nice thing is that. It is indestructible, so it kind of forces them to play. And we also get back our Woodfall Primus. We also get back our Graves. Oh, that's true. Yeah, let's do that. We can kill, kill Garouk, right? And I'd rather kill Vraska and then attack Garouk, right? Oh, sure. Yeah, either way it works. Is or it... or we can get back our... Eh, it's not that valuable. I'd rather get rid of the Plains Ogre. Oh, I thought it was Nissa under there. Okay. No, no. Yeah, also if they um if they living in here, like we're in so much better shape than they are. Oh, yeah. Or living death, rather. Like, we get back Grave Titan and Sculler and Mesmeric Fiend, and they get back basically nothing. Man, Westvale Abbey coming through, bro. This is where they play, like, Sword of Body and Mind. Which would actually be fine, because you have Living End in hand. <laughs> living Death. I keep calling it living end because, you know, modern. That's how modern works. Where was that 33? Oh, yeah. The uh, the 97 lifelink indestructible is pretty good. Like, it's interesting because it almost puts them in a position where they have to living living death just to get rid of Ormondal. But then, like, boy, are they in bad shape.
Here we go. I think they have to do it. And we have a stirring wildwood, you know, just, just in case. If we, the first time I've ever seen Westville Alley activated successfully. You mean outside of standard or in general? Just in general. What? This is your... Oh, you're going to start exiling my cards in the graveyard. Okay, that's cool. They also have five minutes to win this game and another game, so... Uptight, everything is all right. <laughs> Seems good. There's a lot of damage. You're right. They can act. They can exile two other cards, so they're gonna exile Sculler and Mesmeric Fiend. That's pretty good. Man, that was like the perfect card to have. Yeah, so we're just not playing anything because now they can living end, living death, uh, profitably, and then they get a grave robber back, I guess. Yeah. Oh, you're just gonna draw two and then discard three in hopes that they're creatures. Animate that and burn rights putrid imp. Sure. Not exactly what you want. So you get putrid imp grave robber. That's what you get back. Yeah, they have to do, otherwise Ormondal just wrecks them. <laughs> sure. Does they have no cards in their hand? Interesting. Seems good. I do like getting back scavenging news here. <clears throat> Not bad. Four, one, two, three. We just play demon. That's really all we need to do. Like we don't really need to kill the O ring. Plus, like we don't have anything to take out of the graveyard currently. Yeah, I don't think that guy has any targets. Would you like to use this ability on your own Golgari segment? No, thank you. Yeah, I'm just going to play this guy because I don't care anymore. They have zero cards, so they have to top deck one. Like, their ability to top deck an artifact uh, does not outweigh my ability to have we a 2 2 on board. artifacts from them yet either. So. Well, we saw Lotus, but that's pretty much it. Yeah, it doesn't really count. Not really targeting that anytime soon. Well, that's cool. That's a cool thing to sacrifice. They literally have to just block this or sacrifice something to it every single turn now. Yep. That's pretty good. Go to three? Oh, block, huh? Oh, you didn't even Woodfall Primus? That's great news. Just gonna leave the mana up in case they do try some shenanigans. Because they do have uh, unbearable rights, so we can just eat it. So, yep. Nice. 4 0 with this deck, dude. <clears throat> Who said Mike, they were gonna Mike donate those? To, I don't how to draft them. Who said they were donating the bits when if we went 6 0, 4 I or uh, 3 0? Man, it's so much, it's so far back, I can't even. This is so much chat. Everything is all right. Was near the start. Oh, it was Leovold. If we throw with the mic stip, I will donate the bits. I don't even know if Leovold's still around. Leovold has left. That's so sad. Dang. No, Leovold's still here. Leovold's still up in here. <laughs> Bit, I guess we're going to find out. We're getting real close. Uh, I wish one of these was a mox. I think it's still a keep, right? With one land? so good if we draw land though we're also on the draw we'll just concede oh, 
it's something. Yeah, uh, this is much better. Yeah, actually. this is better. It's almost the same hand, but way better. I think we keep that. Yeah, that seems fine. So we got the MVP, Wessel Abbey. Dude, that card was legit, dude. These games have not been... Yeah, these games have been good. Ooh, Basic Mountain is always... Uh, oh, God, here we go. Oh, well, it's Reanimator again. Huh? Ooh. Huh? I don't know if it's going to be fast enough. That's my problem. Yeah, there's just... They just go turn to Anime turn. Dead slash Exeem slash yeah. Reanimate. There's like a million of them. I send a couple biddies your way, Frank, but it wasn't me. I have no idea what that means, Alan. Oh, look. None of these cards are cards we care about. Huh. Interesting. Huh. Interesting. Is this how you're going to be? Huh. Is this how it's going to be? Dude, it, dude, we went to the taco restaurant tonight to get some all-you-can-eat tacos. And boy, they had the most depressing, like... Like late '90s, early 2000s, like pop music songs. Like I can't even, I couldn't even give you an example. Also, of... Westville Abbey could totally be a name of like a generic band. Yes, I mean, what are you listening to? That new Westville Abbey album. It sounds, <laughs> it's like perfect. Oh, stabbing Westville Abbey. Ooh. Oh yeah. Hey. What do we got? Warren Powerstone Brain Freeze. Oh, it's just a storm deck. I take the brain freeze. Hmm. Like without brain freeze, they're just like. I mean, I guess they could. I was thinking power stone too. Tendrils as well, but whatever. Well, then they have to have. Their have hand to draw is it. not great. Like they just have ritual. No, this is a boring hand. Probably just gonna flash back next turn. No, you're thinking of Downton Abbey. You're thinking of the the, the band Downton Abbey. The the alternative band Downton Abbey, whose album just came out recently. Your album just came out recently. Really? Yeah. When you three, I'm gonna send you some biddies. Oh man, biddies all day. Make it rain biddies up in here when we three o this. Big old biddies. Manglehorn. Oh, that would have been so good if it was a manglehorn, dude. Disgusting. Um, I think we just ooze and eat their graveyard. Yeah, I'm sure they have some kind of shenanigans. Well, I don't want them to faithless looting next turn. What do they play this turn? They played swamp. And Power Stone. I'm going to get rid of Faithless Looting. Seems good. Next turn we can actually play Signet Awakening Zone if we don't care about eating anything. Might also just want to eat this because they do. They could have um, Yawgmoth's Will. I'm sure they do. I'm in Florida. I'm not in the Northeast. Who's even in? Who's the? Who's in the Northeast? I'm in. I'm in Florida right now. That ain't the Northeast, bruh. It is in fact the Southeast. It is the yeah. I, I can't do a different voice than you. It's gonna be the same voice. Very original. I hate you. How's it gonna be? Bird and deer, bird and deer, bird and deer, bird and deer. I love the Northeast. That's where New England is. Need some clam chowder. Yeah, I love a little clam chowder. I don't even think we need Signet. I think I just want to keep this up in case they try to. Uh... Yeah, well, there's no reason to really play Signet. I ain't ramping into nothing. One, two, th we have four mana. We'll have five. Watch, we're going to draw a Grave Titan. We could have just played it next turn. No, I don't like this. I'll just save it. You just wait. Massachusetts. I've never lived in Massachusetts ever. That's kind of funny. Massachusetts. Also, if you guys want to sub, that would be awesome, and I'd really appreciate it because we have had no subs today so far, and that makes me sad, sad dude. So that's all it comes down to. And you can join our subscriber Discord channel, which has been amazing. Yeah, utterly. You can raise your dongers. Utterly amazing. We raise dongers all day today. Every day we're raising them dongers. If theirs isn't flat, why aren't the bottom of the shoots flat? Man, it makes sense. I can't argue with that. <gasps> Zen Hobbit, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. You are awesome. Welcome to the Sultai Brood. Thirteen degrees. Woo! Also, if you guys do subscribe, be sure to attach your Discord account to your. Oh God, what's going to happen here? To your Twitch account so that you can get invited to the channel because it's it's actually super sweet. Thirteen degrees is not a reasonable temperature. Oh God. 
What are you? But you're black red. What are you? Uh, Zealous conscripts. I okay, sure. Iron Chef Sammy, I definitely know you would sub again, and I appreciate it. You are awesome. Just make a new account. Oh, they have brain freeze, so they actually could have. Okay. Okay. This is going to be always yes. This is going to be an always yes, always yield. There's no situation I can think of where I'd be like, no, nah, thanks, I'm good. I'm going to keep this protected. Let's search for the ma. Search for the ma! Hey, ma! Hey, ma! Where's the Milo? What are we getting? Planes. Okay. Okay. Do we have any? We don't have No, any. we don't have any planes. Are you crazy? What are you, some kind of crazy man? I feel like I just worry that our clock is not fast enough. But they still need another red and another blue for uh, any sort of green, any sort of Deceiver Exarch shenanigans they might want to try here. Selena Gomez Prime. I would have... God, you... I feel bad having you sub with a second job, but... I I appreciate it. I think mods can... Maybe they can stop mods? Start mods? Stop mods? No, mods can't stop mods. Really? Mm hmm That's a mod on mod hate crime. Exactly. What? 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 Hmm. Why are you like this? Hmm. What? Hmm. What? Hmm. Oh, boy. Yeah, that's where we ended things. How's it gonna be? Ooh. Was that song playing? That song wasn't playing, right? No, I just, I just, that, that song often comes up on my Spotify. On my Spotify. I guess you just eat this swamp too, because why not? Because YOLO, I guess. I don't know. Nostrafix, thank you so much for the sub. Really appreciate it. You are also awesome. Welcome to Soul Time Brood. Welcome to the Soul Time Brood. I like that we're just hiding this Westvale Abbey. You'll never see it. Yeah, oh, secret. they got an island. They oh. got it. Watch, now they're just going to go to see Rex Arc, top deck uh, another. Their hand is Dark Ritual, Kiki Juki, and one of their cards, and then they're going to top deck a third red source. Kill you. Oh, never mind. We're good. <laughs> Ooh, Sweetums. Sweetums. Yeah, that's the guy from, uh... Good old Sweetums. It's the guy that's the Muppet. Sweetums the Muppet? You know Sweetums? No. Oh, that's Sweetums, okay. Yeah, Sweetums is amazing. He's amazing! He's like an original meme. He's an original Muppy meme. We're playing this because we can make a guy, at least, so... Not yet. I like that these. I like that the MA guys are getting together here. Is that, is that what's happening? You guys are talking about your. All right, they didn't. They didn't play a blue dude. Didn't play a blue dude. I'll play. I'll. You're a blue dude. I'm blue. Dot, oh, now they got. Oh, they got it all. Five for Kikums and and then enough for the pester. Oh, they can go Kiki Jiki copy this guy to get. I think that's fine. We just kill it as soon as he taps it. Yeah, I'm not even. Yeah, I'd rather kill the Kiki Jiki than the Imperial Recruiter. I'm blue, da booty, da dum da booty, da dum da. They're also going to have to uh, tap their blue for it. So unless they have. They actually can't even have Force of Will because. I mean, the last two cards could be Force of Will blue card. No, it's not. We know one is Dark Ritual. Oh, then never mind. And I get to eat it. One, two, three, four, five. Well, I'm not going to eat it now. Cause... This is a story about a guy who is blue. And wow. And his blue cards and his whole head is blue. <laughs> 
It's close but, enough, right? Um, it's. I think it's. I think the song was close enough, but I think the accuracy was pretty, pretty far off because we know they only have a dark ritual and something else. So, oh, sure. Yeah. You know. Also, um, boy, was this timely. You gonna untap your island? All right. Uh, blue little window and yeah, a blue just, Corvette. I feel like we exile this guy from the graveyard instead of making a guy. Last thing I want them to do. What's the instant speed? Is there an instant speed reanimation spell? No. I guess it doesn't matter because it would probably die, right? Maybe we make a guy. Also, if we do at the end step, they can make all the tokens they want. It won't really matter. Making a human clerk. Making your way in the clerk today takes everything you got. Hmm. Probably we have that card. Wouldn't you like to get... That's because we've never drawn it once. No, we just drew it. Sometimes you want to go where everybody knows your name. Oh, I guess we just win. All right, cool. That was fun. Now, I had a good time, huh? Cool, cool, cool. Cool, cool, cool. You making bird noises? I'm gonna take the, the traverse out and bring in the nature's claim because I'm sure they have artifacts or enchantments, right? Cuckoo, cuckoo. I am the walrus. I don't think anything else is that great, right? But we could fauna shaman for a bone shredder. That's not even good. Oh, your name is Mitch Barbobbly Blue now. That's pretty good. I'm blue, Mitch Barbobbly Blue. That's that's actually amazing. Why isn't this Tide Skull Tide Tide Hollow Skuller in our deck? I don't know. How'd I get on the tide board? Oh, it might just not be in our main deck. That's correct, Commander. I'm sorry, what? Nothing. The <laughs> uh, nothing. I think that's the only thing that's really good against them, right? Three zero, Mitch. Yeah. And we got one more, one more game. We're one game away. Oh, yep. This guy's We're getting hot banned tonight. What is that? What does he even go to? What does what go to? Your mom. <sighs> what does your mom even go to? All right. Well, this is hand is. It's fine. Come on, mocks off the tippity top. Oh, that's sad. Stay real safe. If you were green, would you die? What is? Yeah, well, he's got to be blue. <laughs> Frank Lepore and the acoustics. Oh, it works on multiple levels because Mike is not only singing acoustically, but he's also my my acoustic son. So, yeah, yeah, makes sense. What are you doing, man? You getting close to the mic? Maybe. Look at the Sweetums. Sweetums. I like that he has a Kermit a Kermit doll. That's actually the coolest thing ever. My name is Michael Barbarie. White Ferrari. White Ferrari? Mm -hmm. Is that a song? Yeah. It actually is. Oh, I definitely considered how many spells my opponent will be casting when we cut Mana Gorger Hydra. Is white is white Ferrari like uh, little red Corvette? Is that the the like the Prince cover? Uh, not exactly. No. Oh. Just a song by Frank Ocean. You don't even know who that is. Uh, I actually do. Yeah, you don't though. Frank Ocean sounds like an old like an old white crooner. Except it's a a black dude. Yeah. No, I know. That's why I said it. That's why I made the distinction. Because I'm like, he does not sound. His name does not sound like who he actually is. What do you want his name to be? I don't know. When I hear Frank Ocean, I think of... Uh... Something from the 50s? Who's... Who is Ocean? What is his name? What's his name? I forgot his name. Ba -doom, ba -doom. There's got to be an Ocean artist. Is there not? Interesting. Like it's, it reminds me of like Frank Sinatra and uh, Frank Sinatra and uh, Frank Ocean. I listen to that song. Look at these beautiful lands my opponent has. 
They got the Grixis trifecta up in here. I think of you at the beach. <laughs> oh, I didn't even see you cast this. Oh, that's fine. We're just gonna we're gonna nature's claim that dude on your upkeep. That's pretty sweet. All right, that's fine. That's just fine. If we draw Mox here, that'd be amazing. We drew Shriek Maw. Not as amazing. We have not played a single spell yet, so that's pretty bad. Could be better. I agree. I think our deck is better than this than this hand is representative of, but we could also just windmill slam a car and then wreck him. I'm gonna wreck him. That's from Wreck'em Ralph. Wreck it, Ralph? You, you know what I'm saying. Wreck him, milk Ralph him. I'm gonna cast my Loter Bloomer. Never gonna let it resolve. See you later. Bye. Oh, a painful truths? I just gave you that free life. That's sad. You're going to tap out? I got this frailies. I do not think he is Michael Buble. I feel like I have some strong evidence to support that he is not Michael Buble. I don't even know what that is. Specifically his voice. Oh, that's oh, that's cute. My name is Afrailies. Do I try to kill this and just make them use it? No, I'll probably just make a guy. Raspberry beret. Delicious. Delicious, huh? Mm hmm What's the accepted spelling for your last name, bro? <clears throat> Bar Bob Lee Boo, like that? Sure. I think that's the the accepted spelling. Literally, as it sounds, you just break it down into the four individual syllables. You bar, can really just spell it however you want. Bar, Bob, Lee, Boo. No, I think it needs its own spelling, bro. Nah. Bro. That's the comedy. Bro. Bro. As if Franco has the cloud to get Buble on his stream the day after Christmas when he is at his most powerful. <laughs> yeah, this is when he says his strongest. He is getting stronger. Got that chair, boy. <laughs> got him. Oh. My parents never got me hooked on Phoenix as a kid. This is hard for me. Man, Michael Buble up in here. Raspberry preserves. Oh, raspberry preserves are delicious. My my order of uh of jelly preference goes preserves, jam, then jelly. Yeah, jelly's definitely too low tier. As far as I know, the distinctions are preserves have fruit pieces in them. Uh, jam is like pulp like fruit pulp and uh jelly is just like literal jello what you got tendrils of agony in your graveyard now that's pretty scary yogmoss will incoming oh, yeah. oh my god this is so bad it's not good i'm okay dad 
I guess we blame Mandalorian. I mean, we have to, right? You don't have to. I mean, we have to, right? Are you listening to me, Michael? No. I'd like you to listen to me, Michael. Oh, Mike's looking handsome today. That's you. My name is Jeff. Oh, uh, Jeff is looking handsome today. Well, I got to work on the run. I'll be following us up. Right with... H. Dan, thank you so much, man. Really appreciate it. Good luck. Oh, you went one, two? Man, it's because you didn't take that mox. Because you took the other mox instead. Thank you so much for hanging out, though. Really appreciate it. And thank you for the mox, by the way. <laughs> Jeff looking like a stud. Looking good. My name is Greg. Okay. <laughs> My name is Greg Greg. Can you milk me? His name was my name, too. That's John Jacob Jingleheimer Schmidt. <laughs> Marmalade has citrus peel in it as well, which adds a bit of bitter. I do. Uh, yeah, I know that. And I'm that makes me a little... I'm a little reluctant about the marmalade. Are there any other marmalades besides orange? Yeah, I didn't think there was. I've only ever seen orange marmalade. Or, or like a tangerine. Are they just going to let it die? Jingleheimer, Mitch. Nope. Going to take it. All right. My name is Jeff, too. Guess we make a little gentleman. What's her ult? Uh, her ult is negative six. Uh, draw a card for each green creature you control. That's it. Okay. So draw three. No, babe. Not great, but not bad. I think her other abilities are just super useful. We can also uh, play Karn next turn because of her other abilities. So. One, two, three, four, five. They're not at Kiki Jiki plus Pestermite mana yet, which is good. Is this our first draft? Because this one's taking a while. This is our first draft. Good lord. Oh, you're just going to empty the horns for two? I do not understand. <laughs> okay, that was actually a great draw. However, we don't have... It was not the great draw. My name is Karn. Give me your hand cards. Give me your hand cards. Oh, intriguing. He gave that to us? Yeah. They gave it to us, brah. I feel like the Storm deck, when we're able to rip a card from their hand every turn, does probably not going to do very well. Probably not. Well, I got four dudes now, so I'd rather draw four. Plus, I wanted to keep Fraley's alive. Because if we if we draw, if we she would have been at seven, she goes down to one. And we only have one blocker. But right now, both of our Planeswalkers are pretty safe. So. Oh, yeah, they could have gone. Yeah, they could have gone Pestermite, Kiki, Untap. Yeah, I forgot about that. You get lazy about your uh, your concept of the uh, the Pestermite Splinter Twin combo when it's not, it's not modern anymore. And you don't have to really worry about it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -mm. His name is my name too, Michael. Hmm. Are you falling asleep? Mm -hmm. I can't tell it's real anymore. You're just saying yes. Oh God. You mean you still got the dinosaur? Hey, he's right here. Hmm. Been here the whole time. Hmm. Everybody walk the dinosaur. Oh, interesting. Intr Tutoring for some demons. For some demons? Yeah, because it's demonic tutor. It's the name of the card. You don't tutor for the demons, Michael. You can. Yeah, you could. You're right. Oh, here we go. Yogmoss bargain. Here we go. You mean Will? Will. Nothing we can really do about this. We disrupted. For real? Storm three? Okay. I mean, I might not be done. 
It's, it's in the graveyard now. Oh, they might not be done. I guess... Oh, now they go Will and do it again, maybe? Yeah. Okay. Well, that was... Yep. There we go. <clears throat> yep. Dark Ritual, Demonic Tutor, Brain Freeze. Yep, here we go. I think we're dead. 15. Yeah, they play one more card. Yeah, start the, the ritual itself would kill us. Okay. Wait. Yeah, so 618. Yep. All right, cool. That'll do. Fair cards. Tuesday octopus got us. He's born into blue. What does that do? Mandrain's really good against... Double blue? Yeah. We'll just make our deck horrible. No. It's not great. Nope. Where's that stupid Mox? Oh my god, we're going to lose this match. It's very sad. Sure. Got a bottom that. <sighs> oh well, we came close. <laughs> sure. I mean, ideally they play a Golgar, a Signet that we haven't seen all, all match, and then we can just kill it, but. Ideally. Yeah, water sports true. I haven't been posting these on Twitter. I've just been just been running them out there. Run out the manglehorn. Favorite limited format of all time? If cube counts, I would say cube. And it's not even close. If not? If not... Original Ravnica. RGD. Oh my god. Oh my god, the rubbins. Rip. That's so dumb, dude. I played it because they have like two artifacts in the deck that actually get affected by it. And I'm like, eh, they're probably not going to have it. I'd rather just get the damage in so we can so we can race them, but... Shard's block was also great. I did love Shard's block. <sighs> That's annoying. Yep, take the ultimate price. End of turn, deceive Rex Arc, then untap, play red, kill us. All right, sounds good. Pretty sure we're dead, which is really kind of obnoxious, but... Oh, well. Our deck did very well. Storm deck is pretty unfair. You're pretty unfair. Hmm. Yeah, I think the unsets would count, definitely. Our hand is very good. Eight drop in a forest. That's pretty solid. 
Our deck doesn't have a lot of interaction, which is the problem. We have things like Vindicate and um, Maelstrom Pulse, which are sorceries. We have eight, seven drops, and we, ha we have eight and seven drops. We have two five-mana Planeswalkers. We have a Grave Titan. We have a lot of expensive things in our deck and a lot of uh, non-interactive spells. This is one of our few interactive spells, which is why it's frustrating that it was taken. So... <sighs> why you gotta why you gotta why you guys draft us this deck that loses in the, in the finals I'm sorry no shame you got no shame buddy you're right they also only have four cards in hand so that's pretty cool I really like Zendikar and Rise of the Eldrazi. You ever take a ride in a Zendikar before? Yeah, it's real fun. Yeah, you're right. It's a little dangerous, though. You're a little dangerous. Just a little bit. One, two, three. Untap your red and kill us this turn right now. Just do it, man. You got three cards. I know I know one of them is a Kiki Juki, and I know the other is a Pestamite, so. Quit playing with my heart and just do it. Maybe we'll just time out. They, I mean, they got four minutes. It's not impossible. We have 16. They've literally taken 12 more minutes than we have this this match. Dark Ritual, sure. Interesting. Tendrils? You still need a lot more storm for this. So you have whatever card you found and whatever was originally in your hand. I mean, it's actually good if their last card is Yawgmoth's Will. If their hand was, if their hand was literally, de if your hand was these three things and you search for any, yep, here comes the Will. Yep. Annoying, super annoying, dude. Yeah, just search for something for zero. Like, search for your lotus that you never drew. <laughs> Mox diamond, sure. And then brain freeze us for eight. Yep. Cool. Unfortunate. Oh, God. Oh, well. 2-1, losing by one match, is, my one game is not terrible. And uh, The 2-1's good enough for a free roll. You did all right. You did all right. So thank you guys for watching. If you haven't done so, please feel free to follow or subscribe, or hit the like button and the subscribe button. And uh, we'll see you next time.